What's up YouTube, Supernova, back again for another video. Just wanted to show y'all what this big men, mean beast looks like. Finally got the bumper sanded down, got everything primered, and then got my headlights put in, got them working. We got the hood put on. This was a very tough job. Um, as a matter of fact, it took too much work and so much time to figure this stuff out. Uh, you know, I, I didn't even have time to make videos how to do this. But basically, yeah, the mark, make your marks where the pin is gonna go. And then you gotta cut that out. Mark, make, drill you a hole right here where the pin's gonna go. That's the pin. I put them in sideways. So I put them in sideways, drilled a hole here, and then made a paper template. And then taped it onto the hood and got me an uh, air grinder and just made a few cuts so I can get a hole. And then I kind of made a little shape like this, like about this size. Then I took my Dremel tool and I just cut around and used this itself to actually keep fitting into the hood. And it's actually pretty sweet. It took us about three, four hours. So, yeah. And then uh, it took, well, I would actually take that back, probably about a good five hours. Because even after that, we had to drill the holes for the pins through the fender. And uh, oh, I gotta put the phone down real quick. Sorry about that. I also cleaned up my engine bay, painted it. It looks like shit, but hell, damn motor's going in here. I just wanted to get rid of the rust look. So, we got this right here. I drilled it in through here, and then had to run bolts. That was tricky itself, because you had to put the hood on. I had to get up underneath here and use the yellow paint marker to mark my spot, and then pop a hole where I wanted it. Now as far as the, know, I'll show you what I had to do to the pins in order to get a sideways action. Let's see, can y'all see that little cut right there I made? See you got, see that stopper on the other side? See that? The stopper on that side, I just cut it out towards me. That way I'll get that sideways action. All right, I'm put it down. Okay, so it's actually it's made. Suppose it's supposed to take two people to lift the hood, but if you do it carefully, you can do it from the front. If you got kind of a, it is a wide hood compared to what we're used to seeing, but with a wire arm's length, you know, a reach span about five and a half, six foot, you know, you can lift up yourself. But I just want to show you how, how smooth this was, how smooth it looks. She looks like a mean bitch. I will hopefully be finishing the video on the motor tomorrow because uh, my rings are coming in early so but uh yeah it's pretty tight and they're about $65 a pair and I had to buy two kits because I was going with a four pin versus a two pin so about 120 bucks you see and you see how bad it looks uh, the hood is a different shade of black and you can tell uh, it's more like a lighter shade of gray, uh, black versus this black. So, but that's what it looks like. I'm gonna black this out right here. So, yeah, I just want to show you how bad it looks. Let me put the ammo on there. Even blacked out all the chrome up here. Side trim, all the door handles and key lock. 
she a bad bitch. So, excuse me if I'm kind of slurring my words because I've had a few shots of caramel whiskey. So, we good. I'm just so proud of my work and I got my transmission rebuilt too. I did that myself, my very first transmission, everything works on it, the air pressure check. Uh, I'll probably do like a live video or a recorded video and explain, go in depth about how I rebuilt the transmission and what I've learned from it, it's, it's tricky. You gotta really pay attention to what you're doing on one of these builds for a transmission. I even put a shift kit in, it should, be, it should hold up to about 700 horses. So, but until then, talk to y'all tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace out, God bless.